Hello everybody. Papa Blue Shirt here. Papa Blue Shirt is glad to be here today. I got shot at yesterday. <laughs> Stay tuned for this episode. Yeah, I got shot at yesterday. And uh, I don't live in a bad area of town. In fact, I don't even live in town. <laughs> I live in the country. I live a half a mile off the road. And I got shot at yesterday. <laughs> What's this all about? Oh, here's what happened. I was putting some plants in my garden and I had my camera set up on a time lapse. And uh, all of a sudden I heard a gun go off and then I heard crack in the right, right over my head by the trees across the pond. I'll take the video down there and I'll show you where it was at. But Well, here I am. The scene of the crime. <laughs> as it is. Or as it were. And up here is the direction the shooting came from. And uh, it was actually hitting those trees over there on the first time. And uh, the bullet's pretty fast, you know, because it was, I could hear it, and, but probably the sound takes a little bit while longer to get here than the bullet does, so it kind of catches up to it, I guess, maybe, I don't know, because I, I heard the crack, and then, uh, then the bullet was here, and uh, first one was hitting up there, the first couple sitting up there in the trees and I thought man that sounded like a bullet and I, I, so I hollered out and uh, the next shots came from up here and uh, this wood looks pretty thick but if you look at it without the leaves on it it's not very thick and uh, right on top of this hill is uh, a field where they plant every year and so it just went all the way across that field and then come down here and hit these trees. Had my whole life flash before my eyes. <laughs> a little scary. So yeah, I ended up only getting in one watermelon yesterday. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah, I had to get out of here. But, uh, yeah. So I'm happy to be here today. <laughs> You don't expect to get shot at in your backyard when you're doing nothing. <laughs> Anyways. So, I'm thankful that I'm still here. <laughs> it's something, all that stuff, you know. You, I didn't know which way to go around, you know. I didn't want to go out there further because I figured the bullets would be going down, you know. And uh, so I just grabbed my camera, come back out my lawnmower, and I rolled up here, went up closer to the, the woods here and uh you know at the time i didn't know if someone was shooting a long long ways away and the bullet was just coming down and finally hitting here or if it was you know straight across and, and it looked like on google maps is about a half a mile up to the up to the person's house where they was doing it at so it was probably pretty straight uh, yeah so yeah it was pretty scary <laughs> Alrighty, and uh i thought man so I hollered out and I said, hey! And all of a sudden they started shooting again. Bang, 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 bang. And I could just hear them all over my head. Bing, bing, boom, bing, 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 hitting all the trees. And I thought, man, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> so uh, I grabbed my camera and hightailed it out of the garden and the house and got my wife and we went up, uh, drove up our driveway and we went down the road to try to figure out where it was coming from. and. Uh, I thought it was my neighbor on one side, but it ended up being a neighbor two houses over. And uh, I don't know him. Uh, you know, we've, we see him, you know, like anybody, you can live in a place for eight or 10 years and you don't even know your neighbors, but. Um, so I uh, saw a guy out there with a gun leaning up against the tree. So we we're pretty confident that we had the right people. And we went in there and asked him if he was target practicing. And he said, yes. And I, and, uh, we said, uh, 
you know, the bullets are hitting down by our garden. We're in a garden working in a garden and the, the bullets are flying all around us. And, uh, and he apologized and uh, he um, asked if everyone was okay and everything. So he was real nice about it, which, you know, I would hope so. Because <laughs> he was the one shooting at me. I wasn't shooting at him. And uh, guess what was happening is there's a long, there's a big cornfield. And he must have been shooting at a target out in the cornfield. And it was going, where we live is down in the valley. So, you know, you kind of feel like you're protected. But uh, evidently it went right across the field and went right down in the valley. And uh, so it's so important when you target practice and to know where your bullets are going. You know, whenever I target practice, I like to target practice up against the hill. You know, so then I know what's behind and I know I ain't going to have someone drive up my driveway because you never know. You know, you start shooting at someone, people get kind of irate about, about that kind of thing, which is understandable. Um, but this is the second time that's happened since I've lived here. The other time was my other neighbor. <laughs> so, yeah, the good Lord's taking a liking to me. He's watching over me twice. The first time was 22 which you know, wasn't as scary, but it was hitting all around my pool and around my, around my middle building by my house. And uh, I text my neighbor and said, hey, they're shooting over here. You're shooting over here and it's hitting over on my house. And he said, I'm not even home. And it turns out it was his boys out with the 22 practicing. And, and so he put a stop to it and, and he apologized. But yeah, so, wow. <laughs> the second time, the second time I was a little bit more afraid than I was the first time. <laughs> Because that was a high-powered rifle. I, mean, I could hear it <laughs> cracking in the trees. Um, have more life higher here than I did when I was in the Army. <laughs> yeah. So be careful out there. Uh, things are kind of crazy. Everyone thinking it's the end of the world and everything. And everyone target practicing and getting getting all stocked up on everything. And yeah, people getting kind of crazy. So I thank the good Lord that it turned out okay. And and. uh and the guy wasn't mean or ornery. You know, you never know what you're going to walk into. Someone be half drunk or you have a battle on your hands. And and uh, I'm, pr I'm a pretty uh, pretty good-natured <laughs> person. So if there's any trouble, I don't want no part of it. You know, I'd rather go the other way. Uh, we always have a, a joke in my family. You know, my son would say, my son would turn around and say, uh, Dad, there's a problem. D Dad, 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 come back, wait for me. Because I'm long gone. <laughs> It's like, you know, you don't have to outrun the lion. You just got to be faster than the person that's with you. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway. <laughs> so that's what happened to me. So I'm working inside a little bit today. <laughs> After that happened, he said he wasn't going to shoot down this way. He said he'd move and uh, the place where he was shooting at. But I was kind of afraid to go back out in the garden again that night. So last night. So I just, uh, that was it for me. I was a little bit shook up, but... It turned out okay, so <laughs> good Lord looking out for me. Alrighty, well, this is Papa Blue Shirt. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. <laughs> may the good Lord take a liking to you. Hallelujah. May he spread his blessings on your trail. Hallelujah. May he be your guide anywhere you ride, and be always your host when you're needing him most.